Uh, one of the themes of the night, it was the issue of gun control. Several speakers, they got a little bit emotional talking about it, including a mother whose son was killed in the Orlando massacre. Listen. I'm glad common sense gun policy was in place the day Christopher was born. But where was that common sense the day he died? I'm here today because I want a president who shares that same sense of outrage. Outrage that the gun lobby fights to keep open glaring loopholes that 90% of Americans want closed. Hillary is ready to take on one of our country's greatest moral failures here at home, and that is the gun violence that is tearing so many of our communities apart. Well, joining us now to talk about more about this is Radio host Mark Levine. He's also a Democratic delegate to the Virginia House of Delegates, and he is supporting Hillary Clinton, and he joins us from our Washington bureau. Mark, good to see you in this early morning hour. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, there's a lot of optimism there uh, about the issue of guns and gun control uh, and, and talking about Hillary Clinton, what she could do. But President Obama has not been able to uh, gain a lot of traction on this issue. Uh, how can Mrs. Clinton have more success, do you think, than uh, her potential predecessor if indeed she is elected? Well, we need a Democratic Senate. I mean, it was the Senate that stymied Barack Obama and the House as well. We need more Democrats in Congress. Look, uh, Senator Murphy's right. 90% of Americans don't want guns going to criminals, don't want guns going to terrorists. This isn't, it shouldn't be a partisan issue. It's 97% of Democrats, 92% of Republicans, even three quarters of NRA members don't think it should be easy for criminals and terrorists to get guns. But that's the way our law is right now. And if politics, Politicians won't listen to the American people. We need to get new politicians. There. Well, you know, one of the issues in the campaign, I mean, the Republicans are saying Mrs. Clinton wants to take American Second Amendment uh, rights away. Well, of course, that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for universal background checks. Most lawful gun owners don't mind saying that if you're mentally ill, if you're a terrorist, let me give you an example. We right now have many Republicans and Democrats who are okay with drones dropping on suspected terrorists in Yemen. There are Republicans who are concerned about Syrian refugees who are fleeing the Holocaust there. They're completely vetted after two years. They're still afraid of them coming in. But if a suspected terrorist is in the United States and is a member of ISIS, the Republicans want to allow them to buy an AR-15. It just doesn't make any sense. Why can't we have, with due process, a simple law that says if you are a suspected terrorist and it's proven, you can't have a gun? Well, you know, I think this would start to become a, a major issue in the campaign. I mean, the Republicans in your state uh, today have a, a press release out talking about uh, your senator, uh, saying that in 2005 he was against any new gun laws. Now, of, of course, he is for them because he's on the ticket. You know, it's interesting. I introduced a bill this year in the Virginia House of Delegates that said that terrorists, people on the terror watch list, couldn't own guns and we'd have due process and everything, and they just dismissed it. Tim Kaine, I think, after Virginia Tech, I think he came around to see that these are very dangerous things, particularly in the hands of someone mentally ill, someone who declared mentally ill, like the killer at Virginia Tech. He had to console those families of the, you know, the parents of the kids that were brutally murdered. I think Tim Kaine gets it, and he gets it clearly now. All right, Mark Levine, we thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening. We're we, uh, we having a good time watching the convention. <laughs> Absolutely, President Obama's speech was amazing. And we'll talk a lot more about that through the evening. Thank you so much. Thank Bob Blakeman uh, is with us, former deputy assistant to President George W. Bush for the Republican uh, side of this issue. I mean, it is becoming a big, big issue, especially on the GOP side. It is, but you just heard Mark, if we only had the Senate. Well, guess what? When Obama took power, they had the Senate for two years and they had the uh, House of Representatives and they had the presidency. And if gun control was so important when President Bush first, took, I mean, President Obama first took office, why didn't he do anything about it? And this, this is a red herring to Democrats because it's a failure of leadership. When you see the amount of gun violence, where is it happening? It's happening in inner cities. Who are inner cities governed by? Democrats. President uh, Obama refuses to talk about the, the violence that's happening in Chicago. He's a reactionary president. He reacts to events. Good governance is to prevent harm, not just respond to it when it visits it. And it's not because that we don't have uh, enough gun control laws. We have plenty of gun control laws. It's the fact of a lack of governance. I mean, it's horrendous what's going on right now in Chicago. 3,000 or so killed over the, over the, during his administration, although he's not the mayor. How do you think this will, uh, you know, play out uh, through November? 
I think that uh, certainly the Democrats are going to try and make this an issue. Uh, I don't think the American people are going to buy it. Uh, certainly nothing is going to get done between now and a new president being elected. It's, a, again, one of their fallback issues that is a failure of their governance in urban areas and not a reflection of anything that needs to be done. All right, Brad. I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more about it. Well, Donald Trump campaigning in Ohio.